Welcome everybody, my name is Mr. Llama, and today I am bringing you something new. I know I don't really even have a name for it yet, I kind of want to name it Cheese with Ease, um, but I don't really feel like it's crazy, crazy cheese. It's just kind of a cool thing that I kind of, kind of sort of stole from Fitzy here. Uh, changed it up a little bit, of course, but I think I'm just going to say it's just a certain strategy that you can use to change our ZVZ up because I play about 70 ZVZ games, 70% ZVZ games, something around there. Today I played five games. They were all ZVZ. So I get really tired of just playing the standard ZVZ. I'm, I'm complaining a little bit too complaining a little bit in this game but it's all I get um, so yeah you know whatever that's that's just kind of uh, how how it happens that's how the letter works oh well but regardless um, I'm gonna kinda show you how I like to uh, play around with it and stuff how I like to have fun with ZVZ and kind of a strategy I like to do so Fitzy here what he does is he goes for the the multiple multiple queens uh, he goes for lots of queens and then he sets up this cute little overlord overlord Overlord, Overlord, and does the whole creep highway over to his opponent's base so that his roaches and queens can run across the map. And it's a really fun little thing and stuff. Um, and so I kind of like played around with that. But what I found is that when players could see that and see me like pushing across the map, even though I was kind of, you know, it was kind of a faster push because I had the uh, creep and such. Um, it still just wasn't fast enough for me. And by the time I go over there, a lot of times they'd have like. 20 spine crawlers up here because waiting for the queens to run all the way over and stuff. So I was like, okay, you know what? It's a it's a decent, you know, it's a fun strategy and stuff, but I kind of want to change it up. So what I'm doing is I'm going for a 16 pool or 15 pool and then a 16 hatch. Uh, and my opponent does go for a 15 hatch. You can, of course can open up with, with a 15 hatch if you want. This is just kind of how I like to open it because then I get my queen here and then I get he moves down and then I get another queen and another queen right when that pops. And I don't know. I, I just sort of like how it, how it flows um, with this style with this open right here. So I'll grab my overlord and then I'll grab my queen right here very shortly. There we go. So I get my queen. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a variation on it or variation of it where you go for the queen roach and instead of marching your units across the map um, you instead go for a nidus and then you can nidus swarm them in or around your opponent's base and that is a big part of this build and it's very fun and I mean I use this in Masters League all the time like I said 60 to 70 percent win rate probably win with this um, it's just you know it's just a really really fun build as well because it's so different from the normal Ling Bane Ling and then you know into the Roach Infester army it just it's just all different and you can transition out of this somewhat uh, of course you want to do some damage and so you can take your third behind it, the attack and stuff if you really want. But it is a pretty uh, heavy, intense attack uh, at the beginning for sure. So, a couple of things to note. Number one, like I said before, it's in or around your opponent's base. If you can get in your opponent's base with a Nidus, you have a very good chance of winning with this build. Simply because it's so difficult to stop. My favorite place, of course, on this map is right up here. Because Zerg players, like if we look at his vision, he just can't see there. Most of the time they just can't see there. Unfortunately, uh, I think this game he does actually stop it. I think he has like a hatchery up here that just has vision, something like that. But n all the time, um, you're not just going to have that. You know, you're not always going to have it where you simply get the great vision or where they get the vision. So sometimes you can get a free win. Sometimes you can't right there and you have to work a little harder so you can, you know, drop out here, have an overload over here to drop at the third. I mean, just whatever it is. So here, I don't really want him to get much scouting information, so I can just use my queens, go for a little block right there, force his links around, and he's not going to get any scouting information. And why is that somewhat important? It's not the most important thing in the world, right? If he gets in there, okay, you know, big whoop. He doesn't. He gets in there. But if he gets in there, he would see I didn't have any gas at that time. Maybe that would push him to go for some sort of Ling Bane all-in because he'd know I don't have any gas, whatever it is. Regardless, here is kind of what I'm transitioning to now. I'm at that 43, 44 supply mark, so I'm going to start grabbing gas. Notice I grab three gas and I throw down these Evo chambers. Why are the Evo chambers here? Well, simply because if he goes for that Ling Bane all in, I need this for my wall. I need this for my protection. I can even throw down a, a third Evo chamber right there if I want. Um, and just to make it even smaller, and then of course I can get a spine crawler here additionally. So with these Evo Chambers, I can start my upgrades, 
And then, of course, it forms the beautiful wall. And with my queens, which are just accumulating all of that nice energy right there, four chance fuses later, um, I can feel pretty safe. And the nice thing about this build is you don't have to worry a crazy amount about it getting scouted. Uh, so if it does get scouted, okay, you know what, it gets scouted. Not the biggest deal in the world. Um, I do get four extractors, and I put two on each, because if you put two guys on each extractor, it's actually uh, like 80% optimal. So you get more gas with two on each than three and one, stuff like that. Just a fun little thing to note. So here he's going to try and poke in. He'll see I, I'm getting a lair, so I'll be able to kill off at this. And that's okay. I really don't care too much about what he's doing. Notice here I have my vision for right here. Here I have vision for out here. And I should have a third of overlord over here for uh, to the third. That's a mistake on my part. These guys are kind of clumped up in a dumb position. I should have spread these out better. Put this guy over here. But here, as you can note, I'm getting my 101 upgrades. I'm getting my lair finished right here. And I'm starting a roach horn once again in this wall to just form this nice barrier that's so, so, so difficult for your opponent to break down. Uh, if you note, know, behind this, I, I'm just droning up. He's a little bit ahead of me in the drones because I am investing uh, a little bit more in gas, I do believe, and all these upgrades and the faster lair and then the queens and such. Um, but regardless, you know what? I still feel like I'm in a very fine position. Uh, I'll be getting my upgrades a little bit earlier than he will. And then, of course, when my lair finishes, I can throw down my Nidus Canal, which I have my drone ready for. And once I get the gas, there we go. I'll go ahead and throw it on the Nidus Network. So... With that, I can get ready to drop it here, drop it out there, and then, of course, as I had said before, um, I can drop it over here, assuming I have that overlord. But regardless, now I can start massing up on these roaches really quickly. And this hits for at a very, very, very good timing. And the reason is I'm not pushing out across the map or anything like this. So he's, I mean, he has a beautiful scout right here with the Osovers here. He gets in, he knows what's happening, right? So he's not going to be droning anymore, but even now, he's already overdroned. Like, simply at that 62 drones, he has already overdroned. Look at the supply count right there. He's already transitioning, moving towards that infester tech at that point. Uh, and it's just put him in this really difficult situation. He's actually, yeah, so he's going to be trying to make whatever. But here, I've gathered everything together. I'm going to drop the nice canal right there. And unfortunately, it's going to scout actually from this overlord, I do believe. So that's a little bit unfortunate for me. But I'm still going to be fine. You know what? That doesn't go up. That's okay. Now I can just... Go ahead and drop another one right out here. And like I said, if I have it over that third, I could drop one right out there at that third as well. He has three bases, yes. So, um, yeah, so at this point, I'm just continuing to pump units, continuing to make queens and such. Don't get supply blocks like I did right there. But regardless, as soon as it finishes, unload everything right out here. And if you want, drop a creep tomb right there. That's great for vision later on. And now I can just start to push everything up towards his base. He's going to try and defend with whatever he has. He doesn't have a ton at this point. But you have to remember that I have these 1-1s. And he actually is going to get his 1-1 at about this point. But regardless, now I can just kind of push him with these queens and roaches. And look how much energy is on these queens. That is going to be such a huge, huge... Uh, difference in this fight as as you can see I can just transfuse non-stop across this front line right so all these roaches that are going down into the red are just getting transfused back up to full health and he's just going to continue to slowly lose and lose all of his units as I continue to uh, transfuse and I've got all these additional queens meantime I have more roaches now going to be piling in I've got more queens building up I could be taking a third base at this point um, but it's just a very 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 simple easy game right so it doesn't it doesn't take insane micro it doesn't take insane you know crazy things like this you could probably use this definitely actually i'd say for sure down in the lower leagues this is masters league you could use this down in platinum league stuff like that and just you can just sit back and drone up back at your base get your roach warren start getting your upgrades you can add a couple spine crawlers back here if you don't feel safe i have one um which i moved to kind of block off right here but you can throw down two or three spine crawlers back here and be completely fine and then of course just kind to spread out your overlords and just drop right outside his base drop one right there drop one as third try and drop one in his main and then you just pump everything out drop a creep tumor and just move right at his base basically and just destroy him because it's so difficult they're generally not at this point going to have a ton of investors out or anything like that i mean they're gonna have you know if they do have infestors out, even still, it's not going to be enough because they'll have to sacrifice other units. So if he goes for all of those harvesters, he was at 62 drones, um, he's already over -droned. He's already drawn past the point. Uh, and if you hit at this timing, then he's going to be basically in trouble. So really the only way that you lose with this 
uh, is if he doesn't over drone and he can kind of like match you back and forth. He like prepares somehow with spines, which generally I don't see that happen too much. Um, simply because they're looking more for Nidus in their base. They aren't really expecting a Nidus outside their base that you can then just walk in with. Or if he uh, drones heavy and you don't hit early enough, or if he denies enough Nidus Worm, sometimes they'll be really active around the map and kill off all your Nidus Worms, and it allows them to get enough of an army up. But other than that, I mean, it's a great strategy, and it's a nice way to just get in and get a good win um, in a ZVZ, and just kind of change it up. Like I said, if you ever get bored playing the typical ZVZ, try this build out, because it works pretty well, in my opinion. So, that's going to be it for me. I will see you guys in my next video. Have a good night.